Hey guys, good morning. I'm so happy to be with you here again this morning at church. And this morning we're going to start off with reading together from Nehemiah. So parents, right away I'm going to ask you to pause the video and read with your children Nehemiah chapter 8. So, I'm guessing you guys are back because you read the chapter, right? Yeah. All right. So what are some of the things you celebrate? Do you celebrate birthdays? How about Christmas? How about the end of the school year? I always take my girls out for ice cream on their last day of school, just to begin that first day of summer eating some ice cream. Now I got a question for you. Why do you celebrate these things? Well, we celebrate for many reasons. Like for one, for finishing something hard. Some people would say a school year is hard. So we celebrate because yay, we got through that and we have moved on to the next level of school. So we celebrate. Others, we celebrate our birthdays for having another whole year of life. We get to be one whole year older and we celebrate with that. And for Guys, we also celebrate Christmas. Why? Because it's Jesus' birthday. We celebrate the fact that Jesus was born to come and save the world. So, how do you celebrate? Sometimes, if it's for like the end of the school year ice cream thing, it's just going out and getting a special dinner or ice cream. A nice little treat, right? Sometimes, if it's our birthdays, we throw parties with pinatas maybe. Maybe you'll have your friends over and you'll have cake and sing happy birthday to each other. Maybe it's just family. We might throw a small or large party depending on what our families like to do. And for Christmas, what do we do for Christmas? You're right. We celebrate by handing each other gifts, reminding each other that Christ is our gift. So in verse five in chapter eight of Nehemiah, it tells us that Ezra stood on the platform in full view of all the people. And when they saw him open the book, they all rose to their feet. Guys, I got a question for you. Why did they stand? Do you know? We stand for many reasons in the church and we stand for many reasons in society. Some of us stand to pledge allegiance to the flag every morning in school. We also stand in honor of great people. It doesn't matter who our president is of the United States. We all stand when that president comes into the room or the queen or the king, or maybe it's just somebody of high honor. We'll stand. Guys, that is a sign of respect. It's a sign of honor to that person that you would stand for them. And um, we stand also in church for worship because we want to show honor for Jesus and to God's word. What do we do or what do we have to do to celebrate in church? Well, in verse 10 of chapter 8 in Nehemiah, it says, and Nehemiah continued, God celebrated with a feast of choice of foods and sweet drinks. And he asked them to share gifts of food with people who have nothing prepared. This is a sacred day before the Lord. And don't be sad for the joy of the Lord is your strength. He celebrated this day that they they were able to get together and come together as a group. And they celebrated the fact that they were able to read God's word together. Guys, we are asked to celebrate God's word every day. And we celebrate and give thanks for all God has given and done for us. So how do we celebrate? Do you know how we celebrate in church? We celebrate in church in our singing and in reading God's word and in prayer. All those things are showing God honor and respect. And it's all of us coming together, celebrating the fact that we can do all of these things together and for God. We give him praise and glory. And it makes us feel good when we're able to do so. Did you know that in Psalms 48 verse 10, it says, like your name, O God, your praises reach to the ends of the earth. We are to celebrate and give thanks, 
praise and worship Jesus' name for all he has done for us every single day. Do you know it's a gift from God that you wake up in the morning? Did you know that? Did you know it's a gift from God that you are able to take your next breath? Guys, Jesus, God sustains our life. He gives everything to us. It's a gift from God to be able to go fishing with your dads. It's a gift from God to be able to go out and ride bikes with your friends. All of those things are a gift for God, for God gave you the ability to go and do those things. When we do this, when we come together in prayer and in worship and reading of God's word, when we do this, we praise God. And in our minds, we start thinking right when we start praising God. And in our hearts, our hearts start feeling right. Many times in the Bible, we can read how all of God's creation sings his praises. Jesus even said, if my people do not worship me, the rocks will cry out. That's crazy. I remember having this lesson with you guys earlier this year. The rocks will cry out. I think we talked about this during Palm Sunday. And it also talked about many things crying out in, in song and worship to the Lord. Many different times in the Bible, you can hear about the trees singing God's praises, or the rivers, or, or the streams. All of God's creation will praise and worship Him and sing His praises. So, down below, there's a link to a video on YouTube that I find amazing. So, I used this video a long time ago when I first started um, asking and following God and becoming a pastor found this video and it has to do with all of God's creation singing his praises. I encourage you to click on the link below and listen to this video. It's not a very long video, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, okay? So in the video, this, this man is talking to a group of adults and he's talking to them and he's showing them stars. He's fascinated with science and the universe and God's creation and he, he found a star. And did you know that stars make sound? I bet you didn't know that. And if you did, I'm amazed because I didn't know that before then. And this star made this really fast sound. It kind of sounded like maybe a dump truck going down the road with a flat tire. And then he showed another cluster of stars. And they kind of sang like, wah, wah, wah. And when he showed that part, he, he kind of laughed and said, it's kind of neat. God has his own string quartet over there. And then he, he uh, shared the sound of whales. And y'all know how whales sound. And I'm not going to make that sound. That's why I said y'all know. And if you don't know, look it up. You can figure it out. He shared all those sounds separately. And then... He pulls them together and he goes, everything sings God's praises. We all worship God. He is our creator. And he brings the stars in with their noises. And he brings the whales in with their noises. And then he brings in another element. And guys, I encourage you, please click on that link. And you, if you do, you will have the chance to sing God's praises and sing along with stars and whales. Let's pray. Lord, we're so thankful for you. We're thankful for each and every day that you give us. I'm so thankful that we are able to share the good news that you give us. We're able to share the good news that we, are, we find in your Bible. And Lord, as these children are listening and their families are listening, Lord, I pray that your spirit touch their hearts. I pray that they click on that link and they hear the marvelous, wonderful sounds that you've created all over the universe, not just here on earth. Who knew that stars sang? You knew. And Lord, I pray that they might be able to sing along with all of your creation and hear the wonderful music that you've created and sing along with that. Lord, I pray that in the coming week, Lord, they hear this lesson over and over in their hearts as they hear birds chirping or the wind blowing in the trees, or as they're out fishing with their dads or riding bikes with their friends, Lord, I pray that they see that every moment was given to them as a gift from you. Lord, I lift them all up to you, and I ask that you bless them. In Jesus' name we all say, amen. All right, guys, you have a great week. I can't wait to see you in church. Bye.